Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Nomadic Travel. Today, I wanted to make a follow-up video to my drone registration process for Thailand. Now, I know it's been a while since I shot my video last year about getting your drone registered in Thailand with the NBTC. That's the first step. The second step is getting insured so that you can have liability coverage up to 1 million baht. Then, the third and last process is to register your drone in Thailand with CAT the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand. So if you guys have any questions about this process, I'm going to be completing it and shooting another video to follow up on this second step. Uh, if you've already done step one, which is the MBTC uh, drone registration, then go ahead and skip forward. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what's required for that before I talk about the insurance. Thanks. Okay, so step one is registering your drone with the NBTC in Thailand. That's the National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Service. And they're going to give you a piece of paper that uh, indicates that you have registered your drone and the uh, radio frequencies that you'll be using in the country. Uh, and this is free, and I will include a link below to my original video uh, about how you can register your drone with the NBTC in Thailand. Uh, I'll also include it in my blog post, which I'm going to include as well in the information below so that you guys can have access to all the forms and everything from my blog um, that I'll be explaining or at least summarizing here in this video, okay? Now, if you've got the NBTC drone registration in Thailand out of the way, the next step in the process to be able to fly uh, in the country of Thailand legally without getting in any trouble, and especially if you end up uh, crashing your drone into somebody or something and causing damages, you're going to need to have liability insurance just like with your car or any other vehicle on the road. So the insurance that I'm uh, signing up for uh, has the information for me for my drone that weighs up to 25 kg. But my particular plan is going to be the mini drone, which is under 2.2 kg. Um, you're going to need to fill out this application form, obviously, with your name and your information. Uh, mark your, your purpose. I'm going to be doing recreation. Uh, I'm not flying commercially because I'm not trying to make money on my drone footage. Um, and most tourists are not going to be trying to make money and fly commercially. They're, you're mostly going to be signing up recreationally. And it'll probably be a lot less of a hassle if you try and do it that way as well. Uh, and, and then your drone information, you're going to need to have your manufacturer's type, uh, the registration and serial number and stuff that I'll cover here in a second, and which is also included and required in the MBTC. So if you've already done that step, you're gonna, then you're going to be familiar with this already. So uh, other than your application form, you're going to need to send in... Uh, photocopy of your passport, as well as images of your drone, just like you did at the MBTC, which includes the top, sides, front, back, and bottom. You're going to want to remove your battery and include the serial number and information that's located inside of here. That's very important uh, for you to get your drone insured. It's kind of like the license plate number or manufacturer ID that's uh, put on everybody's cars and stuff so that they can identify your drone if there are any incidences, um, particularly in regards to insurance that they are covering you if it is your drone that does any damages. Uh, other than that, you're going to send this in by email and then all you have to do is uh, submit the form of payment and they, they said that my uh, coverage will start immediately. So if you have any questions about that, I will be doing this soon. So I will have uh, more information about this. If you want to ask me, I can shoot another video uh, once they send me my uh, documentation that shows that I am covered, just like I have the physical proof of my MBTC registration. Uh, lastly, I wanted to give you information on the uh, liability insurance that I am recommending you get, uh, and that is required by law in Thailand. You need to have up to 1 million baht uh, damage liability insurance. Um, that is going to be 860 baht a year for my size drone because it's a mini and it does go up from there depending on the size of your drone. Uh, and there is another form that I'm not even displaying on this video because it doesn't include my, my drone is, is for this size uh, service package. So if you have any questions about this, I'll also include all of this liability information in my blog post. The link will be included below. Uh, other than that, guys, just make sure that you follow the directions that I provide on my blog. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Uh, once I get my information in the mail, then I'll have my MBTC, I'll have my 1 million bot liability insurance, and then the last thing I need to do is just send the information into CAT 
so I can be uh, fully legal to fly uh, in Thailand. And I'm looking forward to sharing that information with you guys. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I'm planning a lot of domestic tourism trips here in Thailand. I'm going to Koh Samet here this weekend. I went to Koh Chong two weeks ago. I just uh, put up some pretty sweet video footage of that. Uh, so if you guys have any questions or if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below and I'd be happy to make any additional content requests or answer any of your questions in regard to pretty much anything in, in Thailand regarding visas, uh, drone insurance, stuff like that, travel recommendations. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in to Nomadic Travel. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.